because of the involvement we have with uh, Sweet Springs EMS, Marshall EMS, and Slater EMS, as well as Fitzgibbon and I-70 Medical Center, I mean, the communicators there know. We teach our members that if they have a medical or traumatic emergency, the first thing they need to do is call 911, but then they also need to indicate to the communicator that they're an airbag member, if they have a chance to do that. Um, so that hopefully that if that occurs, let's say someone here in this room has a heart attack uh, and we call 911 and we say, you know, Lewis is an AIRVAC member, then they're going to respond AIRVAC here to Sweet Springs. Uh, the same thing is true if the patient ends up, if Lewis ends up at I-70 Medical Center at Bothwell or at Fitzgibbon and needs to be flown to another facility for further advanced care, and they know that that, uh, that individual is a member, then they will call airbag. You have a medical or traumatic emergency here in Sweet Springs or at I-70 or you're at Fitzgibbon and you need an aircraft, you need an aircraft. And if you're an airbag member and you get another aircraft, then your membership does not apply. Yeah. So, well, basically you're asking us to endorse your company. Mm -hmm. And for us endorsing it, we have one aircraft. And the odds of you getting that aircraft are not 100%. That. Yes. Keep in mind that it, I don't consider it an endorsement. I consider it offering a benefit to the citizens of the community if they should choose to do it, knowing fully exactly what you've said. Right. So, uh, you know, it's it's not endorsing one over the other. Now, keep in mind that we're just you're, we're just talking about Sweet Springs here proper. You know, if you're closer to our base or you're referring to closer to another aircraft. You know, or if you're at Fitzgibbon, or if you're at uh, Sedalia, I mean, and we have 10 bases in Missouri, 93 bases in 14 states. And if you're a member of AIRVAC here in Sweet Springs, you're a member not only with AIRVAC proper that has 93 bases in 14 states, but you're also a member in, uh, I think it's 24 states, with now 137 helicopter bases, because we partner with MedTrans and Eagle Med two other air medical programs. So it's not just a benefit for here in Sweet Springs. And I understand what you're saying, that, that you need the closest resource, and, and you really do. The difference between the other aircraft that's located here and the flight time between ours and Sedalia is only about three minutes for, as far as air from launch to arrival here in Sweet Springs. Um, you know, that's not a lot of time, but it really, what you're doing is you're giving the individuals in your community the opportunity, if they should choose to do so, to, uh, to you know, buy a membership. It's not endorsing one of them.